Hello, my name is Claire, I'm part of Baltic Crew and today I'm going to be talking to you about our exhibition of Michael Dean's work, The Great Exhibition of the North. The exhibition title is Having You On. Michael Dean was uh, born in Newcastle and grew up here in Cowgate. He now lives and works in London. The exhibition title um, could maybe refer to uh, the way that some people view contemporary art rather than traditional art. Um, I think sometimes when they see um, work that's not in a familiar format, they think maybe it's a bit of a joke, uh, a bit of, that um, the gallery is having a laugh at their expense, and that's something that uh, the artist is really aware of. Um, but the work is also really political, and it's kind of looking at the conditions that a lot of people in this country live in when they live in poverty. And he's asking, perhaps, are the government having us on by uh, trying to tell us that this is actually acceptable? So as you can see, the audience can have a peek at the exhibition through what would be the normal entrance. Um, they're kind of met with these glass doors that have been whitewashed over by the artist. But once they open, you're kind of met with this wall of sculpture that you can't really get through. You can see some of the details that are in the work from the back, but ultimately you still have to go around the side and follow the path that the artist has set out for you. So if you follow the tape round, you'll find a door that will lead you into the side of the gallery. So the starting point for a lot of Michael Dean's work is writing and poetry and phrases um, that he kind of writes his thoughts come to him. And that's something he's done from a really young age. Now he wanted to make writing that he could kind of walk amongst. It wasn't enough for him to just write it down on the page. A good example of this is this sculpture here, which if you look carefully, it kind of spells out the word lol, which is a text phrase for laugh out loud. And in the context of this exhibition, if you think about the title, it's quite a hollow phrase. It's maybe not a genuine laugh. And if you look up in the ceiling lights as well, he's also spelt the same word out in the lighting panels. This large work behind me, this collection of sculptures, is supposed to kind of read like a page of a book. Um, it's been set out very deliberately in that way. You're held back by this long strip of tape that goes all along the work. So you can't walk amongst it. You have to stand back and look at it kind of uh, as if you're reading a page in a book. And the work contains a lot of symbols and signs uh, and pieces of imagery that he kind of saw as uh, methods of communication whilst growing up. Um, for example, there's a lot of uh, these book pages with phrases that he's written, but he's kind of converted into symbols. So these are AK-47s and there's also cannabis leaves and the Playboy bunny head as well that you'll see here. Um, and these are largely picked up from uh, drug paraphernalia that he saw around on the estate. You'll also see padlocks on the sculptures over there. Um, you see padlocks a lot on bridges and things, and that's often people communicating romance or relationships. A lot of couples will inscribe their initials and padlocks and hang them on bridges. So another thing to think about when um, we're talking about this exhibition is the kind of materials that the artist used. He wanted to use materials that everyone could recognise, even if they're not necessarily as art materials. Um, they're materials that we're kind of surrounded with every day, so concrete and rebar and things like that. And the materials that anyone can use without formal training. And there's something really nice and democratic about that. He's trying to talk about a type of communication that really anyone has access to. Um, so this work is a really good example of that, actually. So you'll see this tongue, which is made of perhaps quick dry cement or concrete, um, which has just been cast into a bin bag. Again, in terms of the communication of the work, uh, the tongue's quite violently pierced on this section of rebar. But if you look around the back, there's also a boot print stamped into it, which is quite an aggressive action. Uh, perhaps this kind of work is uh, trying to represent people that don't necessarily have a voice or have their voice taken away or not listened to in society. So another material that uh, Michael Dean uses a lot is actually copper coins. Um, and he's thinking about value here. So actually a lot of pennies, like millions of pounds worth of pennies get thrown away every year because people can't be bothered to unwrap them from receipts and things like that. So cumulatively, a lot of wealth is thrown away every year, which could be going to helping other people. So the penny kind of symbolizes that in the work. Um, in terms of this piece, you have this kind of family of gutters, as he referred to it. So they're like drain pipe gutters that you'd just see in a normal house. Um, and he was talking about um, the language that we use. I suppose if you say someone's in the gutter, it has negative connotations. And also they've kind of got this metaphor of money being thrown down the drain as well. The gutters are also in the shape of curses. So again, it's referring to writing and typography. So the curse that you'd get at the end of a sentence while you're maybe thinking about what else to say. Perhaps it's kind of not knowing how to deal with this um, and kind of pausing to think about what to say about this sort of situation. 
So another sort of motif that appears a lot in this work are these sort of circular shapes. These particular works are actually the dimensions of himself, his wife and his two sons, if they've kind of got outstretched arms and sort of the height of them as well. Um, so they're a family of four and they're surrounding this um, three shopping bags of food on the floor, which are actually the amount of food and the kind of food that you would be given for a family of four for three days is an emergency ration from a food bank. Now, the artist said he's not really offering up any solutions as such um, with these kind of comments, but he's kind of recording what he's seen around him um, and I guess leaving it up to the audience to decide how they feel about um, the kind of political uh, environment that we're in at the moment. So as uh, well as the tongue appearing as a kind of recurring motif in this exhibition, you also see a lot of casts of hands. Um, and this uh, perhaps offers a glimpse into the more positive note that's in the exhibition, uh, because a lot of the hands and fingers are kind of making a, a crossed finger gesture. And the artist said that uh, could be seen as a sign of hope. So people wishing um, and hoping perhaps that things are going to get better.